In 1901, they built a laboratory with complete radiation and all heat exchange. The priest who was suffering from cancer and was about to die volunteered to be the first experimental subject. At the last moment before he died, he was put into the isolation box. After everything was ready, they opened the celestial bodies in the isolated countryside and got the priest's weight data before his death. The priest's heart had stopped. His weight finally lost 24 grams. The experiment successfully confirmed the existence of the soul. But suddenly a strange wave of particles happened in the next laboratory. The priest in the isolation box actually came back to life. When he woke up, he was very active and full of food all the time. But he did die for a minute and lost 24 grams of weight. Mm -hmm. But if he lost his soul, how can he still be alive? Further experiments are needed. The female doctor asked the priest about his experience during the first minute of his death. Mm. He told her that he had seen a magical room where people with smiling faces held out their hands to him, and their arms could be extended forever. A few kilometers away, he suddenly felt a hand on his back. It was as if his friend were smiling at him. When he turned around, he came to life. The doctor found that the priest's tumor had disappeared. Unable to explain it, they decided to try a second experiment. They found a dying nun in a hospice. As soon as the experiment started, the same particle surge appeared in the laboratory as the last one, and the nun's heart stopped. The weight actually increased by 36 grams, so the experiment was stopped. The priest guessed that the devil left the priest's body, and the particles in the experiment surged, just like the devil energy. The father took away the priest's cancer. Shanghai and Shenzhen reached the nun's body, which can't explain why he gained weight. However, the doctor thinks that they need more samples. However, if this result is repeated, it will prove that the devil is real.